Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one and step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Newcastle, England, assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Alright, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Punch coming, it's blocked. 
Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. That was a thudding leg kick. That's a big strike right there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big leg kick land. Right hand upstairs. He's able to slip the left. Right punches there. Superman punch, not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. <laughs> Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch from the clinch. Swing and a big miss by Lee. 20 seconds to go. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. The horn sounds for the end of round one. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. I want you to put your hands up. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice straight punch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Pretty good right hand. Got him whip his hip into that kick. He blocks the punch. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Three minutes to go in round two. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big kick land. Just misses with the left hook. Flips the punch nicely there. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Relax, relax. He blocks the shot. Back and forth we go here. Continuing to work the body to great effect. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Ooh, big shot lands. seconds.
still unable to find that precise range with the high right kick. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. All right, next round is now underway. Previous good. round, not necessarily good. a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, but you see his opponent's head pop it back every time it lands. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Straight punch lands. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, huge block! Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. And he landed the right hand there. Effective punch there by Lee. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the... Oh, huge elbow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Blocked there by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Real sneaky body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the other. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Oh, and he lands another punch there. You can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then take it. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot taking that point. Back to the jab now, no good. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the hot. He got in his opponent's face landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. Right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to 
chase that finish down now. fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Nice hammer fist. Oh, right in the mouth. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. The ground and pound has been there all night. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Under a minute now to go. Stay tight, stay tight. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Twenty seconds left. Sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So it appears this is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice strike to the midsection glances. Whoa! Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish. Oh. No telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and 
for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number five. Including the winner by Knockout Assassin. So the celebration.